as we saw in the Brightman stage video, Brightman is a very, very annoying boss in spite of his 500 hit points and a weakness to wood element chips. You could, in theory, go to Neil Man stage and stock up on those, but e even hitting Brightman is very annoying because um, when the fight starts, he will basically not do anything until you actually hit him. He can block any attack so long as he's not already attacking, and after blocking, he immediately goes into another attack, based on your position, I think. He'll, either he'll shoot a laser, which will turn once to track your position, and although if he jumps, he's vulnerable until he touches the ground, so that's nice, I suppose. But by far the most annoying attack to avoid are these floating electrical orbs. And I have no idea how you're supposed to dodge them. You could slide under them, but even then it's not guaranteed. So of course hitting him is annoying. But that's why we have time stopping Navi chips. Yeah, those are guaranteed to hit him if you time it correctly. So you can probably already tell what my strategy for beating him without taking any hits is. He also has a couple of melee attacks, but those are only going to happen if you actually get close to him, which you should never actually do. There's really no chips that can reliably hit him at such a close range. So of course what we're do going to do here is pelt him once with a buster and then time the Neil Man Navi chip, which I farmed, so that it hits him. Needle Man's chip does 80 damage, which is doubled by the Bright Man's weakness to wood element. That's 160 damage, so you only need three Needle Man ships in order to defeat him. Of course, you want, still want to be a little careful. This isn't too hard if you do it this way. And I also have enough MB to set Needle Man as my regular chip. Yeah, you guys wish you knew about that back in the day, but now you have your sweet revenge, and I have my worthless Brightman chip.